This will enable potential use of a large variety of current and future anti-air, anti-surface, ballistic missile defense and strike missiles. This enables the, um, the Navy with, with the ships that it has that are equipped with these uh, to be able to carry out a, a, variety of, uh, a variety of tasks, including one that's uh, uh, a priority for the Navy at the moment, which is uh, improving its lethality, its offensive missile capabilities, which uh, it's been criticized in the past for not having enough of. The introduction of the Mark 41 uh, missile system, uh, the launch system, uh, will allow them to, to carry more missiles and to carry a, a greater uh, number of missiles of different varieties, which will improve their firepower. That'll that'll allow them to to, to be able to defend themselves and to, and to, and if necessary to pose problems for the enemy in ways that they couldn't in the past. But more generally, it will mean that fitting these um, launchers to this class of frigates, uh, which is the Navy now, which is the, the development that the Navy is now announced it what it is planning to do uh, means that there will be more of that capability distributed around the fleets that will will give more options to commanders the question is whether the navy also has the resources and ability to to fill those launchers with with enough missiles of the right type and they range from uh, uh, the Sea Sector uh, air defence missile, which uh, w was going to be fitted to the ships anyway, but in, in relatively limited numbers. But uh, importantly, what the VLS system enables the ships to do is, is to add missile capabilities, for example, like the new Anglo-French future uh, cruise and anti-ship weapon, which, which has considerable range and can potentially attack both ships and land targets in the future. It can also potentially um, be the launcher for Tomahawk land attack missiles and potentially even a, a, an anti-ship version of Tomahawk in the future if the Navy decides it wants to uh, buy that and if the Navy has the money to buy that. And I think that's one of the, the key issues around this, this decision is that this will add capability to the ships that it will be fitted to, but it's not a cheap option. So that raises questions about uh, what the trade-offs might be. Uh, that might include how many ships the Navy is able to afford overall in the future. Uh, but it also uh, begs the question of, of what the actual budget is for being able to buy the numbers of missiles of the types that the Navy wants uh, in the future to, um, to, to, to fully uh, fill out the weapons, the weapons launching silos on these ships.